everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic News where we've got a ton of stuff, toys and even a little bit of a new look at Jurassic World Evolution which is exactly what we're going to jump into right now. Jurassic Evolution on their Twitter page posted, if you remember, uh, not too long ago they posted a Triceratops little, um, like it was almost like a DNA excavation like the first time you get Triceratops and then it gives you a little brief summary and a little 3D model. Well, they've done it again except for this time with the Ceratosaurus and here it is. Extracting Species Profile Ceratosaurus, a large predatory theropod dinosaur from the late Jurassic period. A horned biped, it moved on powerful hind legs while its arms were reduced in size. So I pretty much love this Ceratosaurus. Uh, one, because, well, the model looks beautiful. And uh, two, it, it, it's the Jurassic Park 3 one. And that fills me with so much hope for other dinosaurs to come back from other Jurassic Park movies. Maybe even a Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3 might make an appearance. That's something that if I could ask them a question, I want to know if that's confirmed or not. We see a little segment of the Ceratosaurus weighing up an ankylosaur. And that's something that we saw in the previous trailer to Jurassic World Evolution, which showed the T-Rex also uh, weighing up a Triceratops. Now, for all intents and purposes, this is good because it shows that they're actually paying attention. And, you know, we had dinosaur battles in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. And maybe here, we're also going to have the same thing. It's cool that we have, like, the dual scenario happen. I just don't want to see... Like the same battle over and over again, except for switch out the T-Rex for a Ceratosaurus, switch out the Triceratops for an Ankylosaur. I'm sure they're going to have unique animations, but for the most part, I'm pretty excited about that. And even the thought that they've even put that much effort into it, and dinosaurs will, like, uh, size each other up, be a bit more methodical about the way they attack each other, and maybe they'll just let, you know, each other live. So, moving on to actual other Jurassic World news, this weekend, I think it is, I could be wrong actually, I don't know anything about Super Bowl, but the Super Bowl is apparently showcasing another Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer. And because of time zones, I want to do a sort of uh, reaction like we, like we did with the, um, the first trailer that came out, and it was, what, 3 o'clock in the morning, and... <laughs> <laughs> it had to be like kind of quiet, even though I wasn't. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is still a little whiles off. Surely we're going to have one other big trailer before the release of the movie. And I really hope they don't spoil too much. And I think that's what a lot of people don't want to happen. We don't want to see the big reveal or anything else. We'll probably see more hints towards Indoraptor and maybe more towards that plot um, with the dinosaurs in the mansion, uh, in Lockwood's estate, that is. And moving on to something that's really interesting, actually. There is going to be another board game for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Uh, well, actually, it's not even Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It's just a Jurassic Park board game entitled Jurassic Park Danger Adventure something. I can't even read that. And this is being released to celebrate Jurassic Park's 25th anniversary. But there are Jurassic Park board games. Uh, there's one for the original movie. There's a Lost World one. And there's also a Jurassic Park 3 one as well. And the first one was a huge board. And it was in the shape, or at least the outline, not as good as this one, it has to be admitted, of Isla Nublar, where you would take control of your favorite characters and try to get towards the visitor center, where dinosaurs would also move around and try and stop you. And the description reads as this. The first visitors have arrived at Jurassic Park to see its miraculous dinosaurs firsthand, but chaos has hit Isla Nublar. The power is out and the prehistoric creatures are on the hunt. In Jurassic Park Danger Adventure Strategy Game, aha, that's that title. One player controls the T-Rex, Dilophosaurus, and Velociraptors prowling through the jungle to attack the humans. The other players team up as characters from the classic movie, struggling to get Jurassic Park back online and escape the island before they fall prey to old time predators. So it seems like it's a two player minimum, I would imagine, in order to do this, because you can't really play dinosaurs against yourself. I don't know how that would work. I'm not too sure how you feel about this. Because in the original board game, uh, everybody could take control of the dinosaurs and use them to attack other people. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of kids that are just going to want to take control of the dinosaurs and kill the humans. So, I mean, it, 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 it's probably going to work just at the same time. It's like, well, can't you just have, like take turns with the dinosaurs like the original one? And moving on to one of the biggest announcements for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And that is the first official, and we're talking 
official look at the Jurassic World new Lego sets. Yes, there's been some of these floating around the internet, and just like me with the toys, they've probably been taken down, or if they haven't been taken down, they will probably soon be taken down. So this announcement came from Nuremberg in Germany at a toy fair, and it shows just this one single set, and that is Blue's Helicopter Pursuit. We see some interesting characters. I mean, we see Blue, who actually looks different to the Blue that was in the Jurassic World version. Uh, I don't know whether that's because they put the wrong Blue in, or whether this is going to be Fallen Kingdom's version of Blue. I'm still not sure. you got Chris Pratt, who again looks a little bit different. He's got like a different hairstyle. A, pi a generic pilot. And this other guy, um, who I think we may have seen in the trailer. He's one of the uh, guys who sort of comes to the island and is in that big Humvee thing with them. And what's interesting, Chris Pratt is on some sort of quad bike and he has an egg. Yes! This is the first hint towards Blue having a baby. So it could be official. Blue has a child, or at least one singular baby egg. And maybe Chris actually gets introduced when he finds Blue. Blue shows Chris the nest, but he has to get Blue off the island. And Blue's not going to leave that nest for no matter what. So what Owen decides to do is take the eggs and lure Blue into a trap where she gets sedated by maybe even said helicopter. You know, it's, it's that whole like... He did it for good reasons, but then Blue's like, you betrayed me! And then, I don't know, can we really have the liar revealed story with a dinosaur? Maybe? I don't even know. And also, the most intriguing details about this box are actually on the back of it. And here, you can see a little collect them all and other dinosaurs. We can quite clearly see there is a tiny little uh, dinosaur, which, I mean, we've already seen in the trailer. There's Comsognathus, or com a pro Comsognathus. So that's probably what that is. We've got a Pteranodon, which, I mean, come on, there's no, there's no other question what that sort of silhouette that one is. A, now I'm guessing, because we know Stiggy Moloch is in the movie, that could be Stiggy Moloch. Uh, there has been no real hint towards Pachycephalosaurus, and the back of the head looks a bit spiky. Then we've got blue, and then these bottom two, I mean, the one on the left, that has to be Indoraptor. There's no other dinosaur that I can think of that is that size. Uh, the one on the right looks to be a Carnotaurus as well. So these seem to be all the different dinosaurs from the different sets that we're gonna get. It's kind of realistic with the uh, size comparisons with these dinosaurs, so we can assume that Indoraptor is gonna be smaller than Carnotaurus. And I mean, we can kind of already sort of guess that from that mouth shot we got with him screaming at, I'm guessing, the character in the helicopter. And that's not all of the good news that we've got from the Lego, no! There's also been hints towards another the Jurassic World Lego series. If you remember, Jurassic World had a thing on Netflix, and I think they still do. The uh, in, the the uh, yeah. <laughs> The Indominus Escape, and this was in like four or five parts, and proved to be really, really popular. So of course they're like, hold on a minute, we could do this again! So obviously they're gonna make some animated series to do with the events of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and of course LEGO are gonna put their own comedic spin on it. And not only that, we also have a new LEGO Juniors easy to build set. I mean, a lot of people know that LEGO, I mean me included, LEGO can take a lot of time to build, and of course little kids, I mean, me might not even have the patience for it and possibly could even choke on the pieces. <laughs> so this is the, uh, I don't know, I've never heard of this before, but I mean, obviously it exists. And it's the Lego Juniors Jurassic World T-Rex breakout set. Obviously a lot easier to build, but not only that, but it gives us a look at um, Justice Smith's character, Bryce Dallas Howard coming back as Claire, and I'm not too sure who this other character is. It could just be some generic person who's come with them, but the biggest sort of look here, uh, I mean, you've got the little comedic Lego humor there with the T-Rex going for the hot dog, which I think was a big thing in the animated series that was online that they did for Jurassic World. But it shows more eggs, even more eggs. Eggs. Possibly a baby T-Rex? Because, I mean, the colors are exactly the same. It could even be a baby blue, but it doesn't look anything like blue. Or perhaps this baby is actually a baby Carnotaurus, which would explain why we've got an animatronic of a small Carnotaurus that appeared in the trailer. We're getting hints towards baby blues, baby Rexies. God knows. I mean, <laughs> if these are in the movie, they've done a great job of, like, not showing that at all. And the biggest and best reveal we've got to show. I know I might have said it before, but this is it. The Duplo Jr. Jurassic World T-Rex Tower. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> it shows Chris Pratt as a Duplo Blocks figure because kids! And it's just so cute. Look at it. Chris is just about to get his hand bitten off and it couldn't look more adorable. Look at that little face. Aww. I mean, what's really nice about this is that they are definitely doing a bigger push when it comes to merchandise. It doesn't really look like Rexius, but they're supposed to be inoffensive. They're for very young kids and I can understand that. And that about wraps up all of the news so far to do with uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I uh, just thought I'd make, I, I say, I'm going to say it's been a short video. It probably hasn't. It's probably been over 10 minutes. God knows. But anyway, guys, thank you again for uh, watching this video. I wouldn't be here without you guys and your constant support. Uh, I'm looking forward to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom even more, seeing all of this merchandise slowly come out. I mean, we've got this merchandise. We've got the new trailer coming out soon. And like, it's all building towards, and I'm, ho I'm hoping they're going to do a big sort of uh, publicity or social push when it comes to the release of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom because they did a huge one for the trailer and I can only, I'm hoping they do it for the movie. I'm sure they're going to. So enjoy this video, guys. Leave a like and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye